here's a question. Have you avoided getting a chemical peel because you're afraid of the after effects? I know that I've heard that a lot before. No one really wants to look like a snake slithering out of its skin. But today, Dr. Jennifer Lindner is here to demystify some of the common skin treatments and effects of chemical peels and, and how we can achieve the skin without really all those aggressive side effects. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too. Three weeks and counting. Three weeks down. Are we, are we sharing a name? Catherine. Catherine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So excited. So excited. Okay, we digress. Let's focus again on our face. Okay. Um, chemical peels are something that are for everybody or only certain types of really skin Really, everybody can benefit from it because exfoliation is really good about bringing, taking the dead cells off and bringing the healthy cells to the surface. Now, if you have a condition going on, acne, texture, color, obviously you'll get even more benefit out of it, but it really brings your skin to a healthy place. And then of course there's wonderful anti-aging components. And for my patients with skin cancer, it's even preventative. Preventative in what way? In terms of actually really getting some of those dead cells that are unhealthy to, to lift up and you actually can prevent some of the skin cancers going forward. Okay, so there's a lot of things when we go to, say, Walgreens or to Target or wherever we go, and it says, you know, skin peel, and it's it, there's those, and then there's mm -hmm. some that we pay like, you know, hundred dollars for mm -hmm. from the fancier stores mm -hmm. and then there's you so right. what is the difference between all so these? the difference is with a home peel it tends to be a little bit more gentle unfortunately patients tend to sometimes overuse them and I've had patients have ill consequences as a result of that <laughs> um, I don't overuse my peels anymore <laughs> versus when you go to a physician's office or to a medical spa and they're certified and they know what they're doing they can actually pick out the right thing for you to get the right benefits and you get much more of a uh, positive outcome as a result so let's kind of go jump to that middle category that I talked about that was kind of the peel that's a little bit more aggressive, maybe that it's, but it's not done in um, a dermatologist's office. Usually it has like the exfoliant mm -hmm. and then like a, you know, like a serum or a like a something that goes on top of that. Again, you still need a to solution. be a still solution. You still need to be very careful with those kind of things. I personally don't like peels in the home situation just because it's too easy to do it wrong mm -hmm. or you end up wasting your money by spending money on something that maybe not may not do enough. So I tend to prefer to do it in the professional setting. Okay. So let's talk about the professional setting and what if people say, "Well, I don't have the time to devote to looking crazy with my skin. Well, that's where things have gotten so much better is superficial chemical peels really you could do during lunchtime, during the day. I had one yesterday to give you an idea. Oh, so, and so that's a great point yeah. for, because your skin does sometimes change when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't necessarily preclude you from being able to. It's sort of, you know, as a physician, I kind of choose to do what's best for my skin. Right. Um, but you know, it, you want to make smart choices obviously during right. pregnancy and so you have to choose the right things and your physician should help you do that. But on a daily, uh, monthly basis is typically sort of the best case scenario and I've continued to do mine monthly throughout my entire lifetime because I grew up in Honolulu. I did a lot of damage to my mm -hmm. skin and that's what I've really used to get my pigment under control. I don't get acne anymore. It really brings healthy skin to the surface. So many women often complain about that hyperpigmentation where they get the darker spots, particularly as the sun, the exposure kind of increases as we're, you know, heading into the warmer mm -hmm. months. Will peel, peels address those problems? That's actually the number one most important way to take care of hyperpigmentation is chemical peels. Matter of fact, you don't want to do laser for pigmentation. You actually want to do peels. It's the healthiest way to do it and it doesn't make it worse. It always makes it better. Let's take a look at some before and after pictures that kind of show the effects. What to expect. Exactly. So I think that's what my patients are always a little concerned about, that they're going to peel too much. And the nice thing is you actually don't need to peel to get a good outcome. So from left to right, we're going pre-peel to five days after. after. Exactly. And this patient had basically minimal peeling because when it's done well, and especially if you're doing great home care products, you're actually turning over the cells naturally, and they'll come off in tiny little bits where you can't actually see the difference. So that whole snake idea does not need to happen to have a great idea. So that's kind of just a, that's just a myth these it's, days. Exactly. It's sort of a misnomer essentially. Okay. And then in the second one you can see this patient that peeled a little bit more looking around the mouth. So that's a much more, that's probably sort of worst case scenario. And there's occasionally patients who might get peeling like that kind of all over the face. But now, how do you address likely. that? Are we allowed to use the, the, our, like our daily care products yeah. to address the dryness? In my office, I actually give patients a post-peel kit that gives them specifically heavier moisturizers to use. And if you use those heavier moisturizers, you're not going to see that side effect. There, I think another, and I don't know if it's a myth or not, but as we look at these pictures, are peels expensive? 
No, actually they're not. Um, in general, they kind of vary anywhere from, you know, let's say $50 to sometimes in New York they might be $300. It depends. The deeper you go, usually the more expensive it is. And obviously there's a lot of variability depending on exactly what you're getting done. And what should you should be asking when you're going to a place? Because now with like, you know, Groupon and all these other sites, it seems like every other day we're hearing about um, or doozy of a deal. Our local. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, it seems like we're hearing about a lot of different, um, like, cheap. You know, I think for me, deals. I you know, I work with PCA Skin, and PCA Skin certifies people. So you know, if someone's PCA certified and they're using PCA peels in their office, that they know what they're doing. So we're and looking they for make, certification. So you're looking for certification. It all comes down to knowledge and, and experience as well. Okay. Um, in my own office, I'm offering a special this month. Actually, for the next three months, for April, May, and June, if someone comes into my office, you get 20% off a peel. Oh, well, there you go. Incentive right there. Yeah, exactly. I love it. And I love that you're three weeks away from a very healthy baby. I'm so excited. All of us at Sonoran Living will be excited to see you back in July. But we wish you the very best, beautiful, healthy baby and just a little time to relax and just <laughs> bond and enjoy her. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Make sure you send us pictures. Um, we're going to let you know how you can get in touch with Jennifer Lindner on our website, sonoranliving.com.